it changed my life, it's changed my world. It's changed the way I see things, view the world, and the way I paint actually, because um, seeing life from a yacht and traveling on the water, I needed to paint in much larger canvases to, ex to capture it, and, um, to capture an emotion and express it through paint um, and size and scale, which I couldn't do uh, with smaller paintings. So once I had done the smaller sketches, um, I, went, I went large, I went bold. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that I felt like I was able to capture it then, capture very different moments, calm moments. We can see some plastic in some of your work and you've talked about how heartbreaking it's been to encounter so much plastic pollution in the waters around Gibraltar and when sailing elsewhere. Absolutely heartbreaking. Um, just um, there's wonderful moments when you can anchor off or you can stop and have a dive or a swim in and uh, just constantly surrounded by plastic, diving down to see plastic hoping to see some marine life and finding more plastic, plastic being wrapped around the propeller, <laughs> swimming on to shore into plastic, the boat surrounded in plastic. It, it, it breaks your heart because I never, I rarely, apart from the dolphins and uh, swimming with me on the bow, I, I rarely saw any marine life. I just saw plastic, yeah. So you've mentioned doing some sketches when out sailing, but presumably you then need to bring those onto dry land to work on the canvases. That's true, and um, I always take paint samples, colour samples with me as well. And then I um, do take photographs, but I only paint from real life experiences, uh, I, because I'd feel a traitor to my art if I didn't. And, um, and I enjoy it and then I can remember it and then I can remember the emotion and the feeling that I felt at the time and the darkness or the colour or the light and, and then I can transport that to the canvas and, and I do it with very large brush strokes and big bold movements but I also combine it with a lot of technical details the stitching and the rigging and the, the lines of the sails uh, um, yeah, there's quite a few layers. They're not as um, straightforward as they look. If you look, if you look deeper, you'll see more. And um, yeah. you've talked about the exhibition reflecting a journey for you. Does the journey continue? It certainly does. I um, recently sailed from Panama to the Cayman Islands, um, which is an amazing experience, and that will be in my ne next collection. And I look forward to putting that down and sharing it with everybody. Yes, that would be wonderful. <laughs> I look forward to that.